Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, today we're out on the lake, we're ready to catch some big fish. But I actually have a special guest in today's video, so let's bring him on. Come here. Yo, what's poppin', people? <laughs> you know, so look, this is my lucky shirt. I just had it made just to come down here and put the smoking on Noah today. He's so excited. You he guys really pull wants, for me now. He really wants this pull challenge. Every man. time we get together, he's like, man, we yeah. gotta do a challenge. I've been drinking milk, man. You know what's up? <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go at it today and uh, see if we can go catch some big fish, but he actually brought me a secret little bait. Not only did you bring a custom shirt, but he brought it like a custom bait with him today. Ooh wee. Show me what you got. Let's look at this sexiness. Yeah, you like it? Do I like it? I love it. If you guys don't have one of these, you are just not in the cool kid class. You know what I'm saying? So here it is. Custom. Top water. Bycast. This lure is different than just about anything you probably ever fished. It's not a walking bait. You kind of got to pop it and it darts under the water in different directions. And then it floats back up and you got to pop it again. And it's a monstrous and only the big girls eat it. So hopefully we'll eliminate some of those smaller fish and get the monsters in today. But I'm gonna give Noah an absolute chance and I'm gonna let him fish it first because he needs some help here, guys. I'm just gonna give him a little help. Well, that's what we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna go ahead and hop on the boat. Also got Mama in the back right there. She's gonna be on that boat. Um, me and Big Steve are gonna be on this boat. We're gonna go ahead and get it started. So hit the like button. If you guys wanna see some more content with Big Steve, Go subscribe to his channel, by the way. It's linked yeah, down below. Yeah, you guys help me out. Go subscribe to my channel. What do you got, like I, 4, I need some 000, love over like here. 4, Almost 5,000 now. I'm kind of a big deal. Go give him the 5,000. This video, I'll link him down below. Go make it happen. So let's go ahead and hop on the boats. Get it started. You good, Big Steve? Jump in here, sissy boy. Let's see what we can get going on. Ooh. <laughs> All right. I think we're good. Ready to make it happen? What's up, sucker? Let's do this. Show them what you're throwing. A little secret thing that you got on back there. It's kind of like a mini chatterbait. Made by Z-Man. It's the boss. We're gonna see what it does. It makes a fast, hard vibrating wobble, not like a thump, thump, thump. It's like Seems to work out good for me on Lake Lanier, so we'll try it in here. See if these guys will eat it. All right, so we're gonna try this big top water. I've never seen anything like this. I don't think many people have seen anything like this. This is just a new bait and uh, it looks pretty slick. Not gonna lie, especially with the paint job on it. It looks so realistic. It's got this purple back and uh, I don't know, I'm digging it, but we're gonna see if we can catch something really big on it today. It's actually super lightweight, but it's a massive top water. I mean, look at that thing compared to my hand. It's a big boy. So let's go ahead and tie this on. I'm actually gonna be putting this on a Mach 2 right here, my braided combo. And I wanna answer a few questions before we can get started about the new Kicking Their Bass combo brought to you by Luz. Um, this thing is so beautiful, guys. I'm so pumped about this and uh, I will keep you guys posted when these things are gonna be officially launched so you guys can go purchase it. But I had a lot of people ask, are these gonna be available in left-hand retrieve? And the answer is yes, we're gonna have spinning rods and left and right hand retrieve bait casters. So that was just a frequently asked question I wanted to answer. I'm sure we'll whip this bait around a little bit today, but we're gonna throw that top water majority of the time. So let's go ahead and tie it on our rod and get to work. Look at the freaking loophole on the front of this thing that you tie onto. This is like one of the most intimidating baits. Where'd you get this? You got one? You a big one? Oh, nice. It's a good fish. Big Steve's on board. Right, on board. Let's see what you got, man. I think you got about three and a half. Is he that good? He's a good one. Let's see what you got. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Don't do that to me. Oh nice. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. Where do you think he'll go? That's a nice fish. That's a solid two pounder. Two pounder. I mean, he's probably like two and a half. Boy. I'm sure if you were holding him up to your camera, he would be three, three and a half. Dude, they look small. The camera is two pounder. No, that's that's a solid like two and a half, <laughs> two and three quarters. That's a good fish though. All right, got it started. He's got good colors on him. Yeah, don't beautiful. It's a nice largey. Big Steve's first fish. Good job. That's yeah, a good one. 
All right, we got the bait tied on. We'll see what this thing does. So you said you just sweep it. What does that mean? Like that? Not, not that fast and <laughs> hard. Sweep it. There you go. Oh, I see what it's doing. So it's just supposed to go under the surface and then come back up. It's supposed to be darting around. Let's give it a little test. Ah. It's pretty subtle, dude. It's like not obnoxious. But it's a super big bait. So all this thing is doing, guys, just gliding across the water, and then it kind of turns when you stop. So it just looks like a little injured bait fish at the top. Oh, I got him. All right. Dude, that's a good one too, bro. You see how big he is? Dude, he came right out of that tree. They might be just cruising that tree line, especially the clouds up to that. Just cruising them. It's not a bad one. He's not fighting, dude. The bait's so big. Oh my gosh. That's a good one, though. It's three pounder. Look at that. That's a good one, dude. It is a nice fish. All right, Noah's on the board. Look at that, baby. Big old top. Well, look at that thing hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> that is a massive. That's a three pound fish, and that bait just makes him look tiny. If it was my fish, he'd be a two pound fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three Shoot, that's a three pounder. That's a good fish. Well, there we go. That's our first fish on the big top water. About a three pounder, beautiful one. Came right out from those trees and just smoked it. Gotta love that right there. These fish out here have beautiful markings on them too. Just bright green, really good colors, beautiful lateral line. Let's get them back in the water. Thank you, buddy. There he goes. All right, well, we got our first fish of the day on this big, massive topwater. And that thing just demolished it. Came right out from that tree and just, just ate it really good. You know, today the condition's super cloudy. And it looks like it's about to storm. And these fish, you know, on cloudy days, usually if it's really sunny, they'll get up under these laydowns super good. And get you like a jig or a worm and skip up under there. But... Today, with it being cloudy, what you'll notice is these fish will school up in big groups and just kind of roam up and down the bank. It's more of a timing thing. So you might catch one, and then 10 minutes later, you might catch another one. And then you'll find them all stacked up on top of each other. But they just kind of patrol this edge when the clouds are up. So we're going to keep on casting down this bank and see if we can luck into any more. If mine was two and a half, it's probably about one and a half. <laughs> Oh, I got him. I didn't even move it, dude. I was backlash. <laughs> dude. Oh, my God. I think it was more than one. See if you can throw your bait in there. Throw your bait up there. I think there might be another one. He's not that big. I don't even think he's two pounds. Yeah, about two pounds. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. He's about as big as the bait. <laughs> dude, that thing is fat, though. These fish are so healthy right now. Dude, what? I threw right up there, guys, on that bank, and he just happened to swirl up on it. See if you can get one. I know there's another one up there. I threw right up, like, <laughs> in some grass, but my bait wasn't working the whole time. Look at that. Got the big old top water. Look at this, Dad. He ate it while I know it wasn't even paying attention. That fish caught himself. You notice anything about that fish? His fat stomach? No. These spots? Yeah. You see it all over his fins? What is that? I don't know. It's on his tail, too. It's like little tiny black spots. That's a good fish, though. Healthy. It's like a golden bass. Got pretty markings on him. I cannot believe a fish that size would eat that bait, but... Man, he... He was all the way up there. I know. He destroyed it without me even moving it. I, like, kind of backlashed, and he just started just, just eating the heck out of it. There we go. Got two on the big boy. That was ridiculous. That bait was just sitting there, and he, he gulped it, man. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even have my hand on the pole, dude. <laughs> I was like, yeah. got <laughs> that was crazy. It was cool. He ate it better than the other one. <laughs> All right, guys. It's about that time, we're gonna head down to this side of the pond. See if we can catch something.
It's a minnow. <laughs> Literally a minnow. All right, I'm gonna put this up. Just want to play around for a second while we're coming back here. All right, bringing out big boy again. It's kind of a fun top order to throw. I just really want to see one demolish this sucker. I'm talking just come up and slam it. I think when we get back in here, you see this mouth right here? They usually stack up on that corner really good. You should be able to catch them on your that bait you're throwing. You got him? Oh yeah. Oop. Not a bad one. No, that's a decent one. Not a big one, but not a bad one. Back even, sucker. Nice. You look healthy. Good. <laughs> Next cast. <laughs> Found a little right, guys. Right. There you go. Good job. Look mate. at the colors on him. Yep, he's crazy looking. A lot of spots. That's a nice one. Yeah, they're stacked up. Oh, 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 oh. that was a perfect cast, son. Hopefully he's up there. I think I know where I'm gonna get bit back here. Gotta get it. I thought you got slobber donkey right in there. Oh, sorry. I think they might be a little smaller up there. Hey, we always find one or two schools of them like that down this bank though. Like always there. It's got all this grass, that's the problem. Come on, big mama. Where all this grass comes from? Cause it's not windy back here. All that wind's moving everything around. Dude, I was literally reeling the freaking bait in and he destroyed it as I was reeling it in. <laughs> it's so weird. This is what the third one I've caught on this today and none of the catches have really made any sense. It's a nice one though. It is. Not a bad one. I will say the size on this has been good. Yeah, I think all the little ones are bypassing that. <laughs> Yeah. You're just getting quality fish where I'm cleaning up with all the little babies. See, this is the thing. I was just reeling it in. And all of a sudden, he just demolished it. I think he was behind it. And once I started reeling it away from him, I think he just decided to commit to it. That's a good fish. A little two-pounder. Got a bunch of grass with him, a bunch of salad. Thank you, buddy. Here he goes. I would have never expected to catch one just reeling this thing in today, guys. That's very interesting, but it happened. The first fish, you know, I caught it just working the bait. Second fish, I happened to kind of backlash, and he just ate it as it was sitting still. And then this one, he just decides to eat it when I'm steaming it in. Nothing has made sense the whole time we've been out here. But I have had three bites, and this is a big topwater, so can't complain with that. Now I got the line stuck in the O-ring, so... We gotta figure this out. Oh, oh. I did not want to spook that up there. You could work that. Yeah, but I would have scared those fish. Oh, hook came right off. No way. So where? 
we got some technical difficulties so that back hook is completely gone so yeah that would work guess i'll just take one of these i gotta take the whole split ring off though that's the problem We got that hook on. I gotta take Big Steve's fish off. If you guys are wondering, I, I I don't know how many times we can answer this, but Big Steve is actually allergic to fish, so I have no. To... I can't use a glove to touch him. Yeah, you can't use a glove because if he uses a glove, guess where all the slime goes? Right back on the fish. Like he's severely allergic. Like it's not like he can just wipe it off. Like he's allergic to all the fish slime, like the fish oil. So. If he uses a glove, it would get all over his fish and stuff. That's the last thing that we want, so I have to take him off. All right, well, let's get back at it. Let's see if we can get us one in this corner. I know there's a big mama. The last time that we fished over here, guys, Cody, roll this clip back after I'm done talking about it, but I had a massive one eat a glide bait, and I happened to lose him at the boat. Cody, roll the clip. <gasps> oh, dude, it's a freaking monster and he dove over the top of it. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, do not spit it. Do not spit it. <sighs> yeah, there's some big fish back here and uh, that's not the only time that I've had a big one hooked up in this corner. So let's make a few casts over here with this top water, see if we can fire one up. That's the bite. It's a big one, dude. See him in the water right there? I don't know if that's the biggest one. It's definitely up there. <laughs> dude, that was the bite. He's not a monster. It's so funny, man. They can't really fight with that bait in their mouth. But that's a nice fish. He's not like the biggest one today, but he's probably the third biggest. It sure was exciting though, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a good bite. See, look at that. The, the way that the bait hooks them, it's like you usually have one in the mouth. You know what they've had the top one in their mouth every time? The front, the front treble for some reason. Wow. It's really weird, but I've noticed that. And there's always one treble that's right here and the fish like can barely fight when I have them hooked like that, but it's pretty bass. You gotta love it. That's a good one, dude. It's a nice one. It's a nice fish. That's the type. cleaning up the small guys and you've been getting the quality. <laughs> From big bait. That's the type of blow-ups that we're looking for. You got one? Oh, that's a good one. That's your best one, yeah. Oh. Yeah, there you go. What's not about one? Look at his tail. Weird. <laughs> yeah. I like grabbed it and I could feel his nerve like twitching like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's he injured his tail. That's not a bad one. Yeah. Not a bad one. Thank gosh. That puts us back even, right? I guess I don't even keep yeah, kept track. I don't even know how many we've caught. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Dude, what would you do if he just destroyed that right there? I was about to say, I think he's got it. It's a little guy. I remember there was a time when you were a little punk. Huh? You were a little scared to grab fish like that. Now you grab them like they're nothing. <laughs> I don't know what days he's talking about. That was a big one. Oh my God. That's a big one. That's the one we're looking for. Look at the mouth on this thing. Dude, they just can't fight when it's in their mouth. It's kind of funny. I think that's a big one. Oh yeah, biggest one yet. Oh, Man. That's a nice fish. Dude, see how they had the front, the front treble every time? You see that? I don't know why they eat it like that. Must be grabbing it from the front. That's why they're smacking it. That's interesting. It's not a bad one. The second biggest, I think. Same thing. You count both trebles up. Definitely the biggest fish of the day. Is that the biggest? Yeah. That's easy, three and a half. 
That's a nice one, dude. That <laughs> thing, that was a good bite too. Yeah, yeah, you had to like slam it three different times. That's a good one right there. Gotta love that. Here we go. That's a nice one. One of the, one of the biggest today. I'd say in the top two. That's an easy three and a half pounder. He missed it the first time and then came back and hit it again. And the one thing that we noticed is on these treble hooks, the front of them, the front hook is what the fish are getting every time, which is interesting. It tells you tells you about how they're eating it. Like this treble right here at the front is always in their mouth. The other one's not. It's weird. Daddy, can you zoom in on that bird? Going, son. Oh, he's going after me? No way. <laughs> There's no way he was going to do that. <laughs> now you got a fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what in the world? Look at the spot on this fish, too. He was he was actually going to eat it. Yeah, that was crazy. He was going to eat that top water. I didn't think, you know how the... Look on the side of that bird. I mean, on that bird, fish, whatever, animals. <laughs> Got a weird spot on him. <laughs> nice. Not a bad one. Oh, not bad. I'd say it's one or two more fish down this bank. I'll be good. All right, boys and girls, we got a merch shout out. Steve. <laughs> Steve bought him a fishing American flag t-shirt in black. Shout out to Steve. Big thanks, man. Uh, His name is Steve. Probably a cool cat. He probably is a cool cat, man. And he got him some merch. So he's going to be even cooler now. But thank you so much, Steve, for the support. I appreciate you. If you guys want to check out the merch or uh, support the brand, I'll leave the link down below. I really appreciate you guys. Kickingtheirbass.com. Um, we're going to have Kickin some the new... Kickingtheirbass.com. We'll have some new merch dropping very shortly as well. I think that's why. That's a freaking good one, dude. Holy cow. I got a good one, I think. It won't even move. How big is this thing? I can't tell if he's big or Oh, it's a decent one. Got one on the trap, guys. Had to put down the top water for a second. Gotta pick up the whole new combo, just to give her a little test. A nice little fish arm. That's a good one. It's a fat one, let me tell you. Solid two and a half right there. Dude, that's a football. I feel like you caught me a fish when we went down low today. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. You felt good when he ate it. Alrighty, everybody. We are going to end off today's video. Big Steve, had fun, man. We caught a lot of fish. I think we did awesome. Did pretty good. Caught a, caught a good bit. And uh, that top water actually caught way more fish than I was thinking. I thought I was going to go out there and catch like three total. But we ended up catching a good bit on it. And then you caught a lot on like a fluke, right? Luke was my money shot today. You caught the quality. I caught the numbers, I think. I will say it did make the fish bigger. Like, I think every fish no I doubt. caught was bigger than the fluke fish. No but, doubt. <laughs> which, but I'm surprised quality. we didn't have one that was, like, over four, you know? You would have expected, like, something huge. I mean, this top water, like, where is this thing? we got to show it one last time. Look how big this yeah. thing is. That's a big old mitt right there, yeah, too. Yeah, you got some pretty big hands, bigger than your hand. That'll take some real estate up on the side of somebody's head. Y'all got to be careful, you know what I'm saying? But thank you guys so much for the support. If you guys want to check out Big Steve's channel, check it out down below. Hashtag bring dad back down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next. Oh, you guys hooked me up, you know. Bring dad back. You want to have some fun. I'm the ticket, you know. Peace out.